Even all, um, back with a, another wee review of one of my teammates' guns. Um, you're going to laugh, but you're going to like it. Some of you won't. Some, I'll say some of you that you don't like high caps are not going to like this. But anyway, what we have here is a Jingong 608, which is based on a G36 platform. Um, this one is Warolangam. <laughs> this one is the bipod um, version with a folding stock. When he gets it to stay still, there we go. Um, again, this is one of my mate's ones. Um, yeah, so, where to begin? <laughs> First off, as you can see, it is a little bit longer than a, oops, than a standard G36 style rifle. And it's got a nice little foldable stock, which folds right back onto the handguard. Good little gun, good little gun. Um, right, obviously you've got the, I'll bring it down here, there we go. The, uh, what's this thing? Stock. Stock folds the same way that it does on most G36 models. You've got a button, back end here, push it in, stock folds round and clicks in place. It's Fairly secure. To release it again though, you just lift the stock up a little bit and it will loosen it off and click it into place. Uh, controls are ambidextrous. You've got safe, click, semi, and full auto down at the bottom. And that is the same on both sides. It's got no battery in this, so I'll play with the trigger as much as I like. Um, but yeah, safe, semi, full auto in reverse there and both sides. The mag release is box standard G36 style, which is just here. Push it forwards, mag drops out. In fact, I've got a mag here to show you. There you go, magazine in. That's part of the reason some of you aren't going to like it. Um, push mag release forwards and it drops back out. Job done. Um, the charging handle. Technically is non-functional, so it doesn't charge the gun, but it does allow you to open up and I'm going to bring this towards you so you can see. Here we go. Charging handle. Does pull to the rear to enable you to open this plate here to see the radial hop up. There we go. In there, just there. <coughs> I'll just deaf and jewel, sorry. Um, so it is, yes, it is a fully adjustable hop-up. Now obviously, as you can see, this has got a little red dot on it, but uh, it doesn't come with that naturally. Um, on the back you have adjustable, I keep moving, adjustable rear sights, which are, the apertures are adjustable. Um, up and, well, higher, lower, and they do adjust left and right. Front sight is fixed and it stays there um, uh, it takes a small Tamiya style in fact I'll show you because I've had this one in pieces recently I've just got to remember how it comes to pieces um, he says as it's come to pieces I can't remember now ah here we go there's a push button just here a push button a pin body pin and then <coughs> come out oh hang on and then the needle legs folded down there we go slides are completely off and i've just taken the fuse terminal off which is Oops. really small you cr moan at me if it don't work yeah like i say it is a small tamia connection um He's not ran it on lipos as far as I'm aware, um, but it runs off a 7.4 volt, 1600 uh, milliamp hour um, nickel metal hydroid battery, what he tends to use in it, and it runs happily all day long on one of those, or two of those occasionally. <clears throat> now you can, if you wish, some people I have seen do this. There are two body pins. You know, I'm going to come over to you again. Whoop. There are two body pins, and you can see them just here. One here, and one here. 
you can pop them out and you can switch that for an M4 style magwell. Which usually <coughs> enables you to run, obviously, well it will enable you, not usually, will enable you to run uh, standard M4 mags. Yeah, let me just get this back in. What have we done here? There we go. Let me put this back together before, right. Yeah, which will allow you to run M4 style mags. Now, oh, what my mate's done, which is the other reason you people here that uh, don't like high caps, again, not gonna particularly like me, um, is not only does he run it with the standard high cap uh, 370 round, G36 style mag, which you can hook together. And you can stack them up. He's also managed to get hold of that. A 1500 round auto winder magazine that fits a G36. <laughs> Needless to say, he kind of likes to run this as more of a support weapon. So it will sit mid-range back on the uh, the field and click it to full auto and give them hell. Because he's insane. But uh, that's part of the reason why you can change out the, uh, the magwell because you can't always get hold of them there. Um, G36 style auto winders um but anyway let's fold this back down right a couple of useful bits of information about it um this jing hong um jobby it's the i'll say it's the 608 this was bought from um i'm gonna mention them again patrol base uh 120 pounds uk um, again, I'm not sure what that is, uh, US, um, and again, I'm not sure if Patrol Base actually uh, shipped to the US, but I'm sure you can get them on um, other places um, for you guys, but over here, about 120 quid. The flash hider is, um, oops, it, it does come off, um, it's a 14 mil uh, counterclockwise thread. So that come come off and you can put tracer units, suppressors, and all crazy manner of things on the end of there. Um, out of the box, this fires at 325-ish FPS. Um, again, it might differ in different countries, but in the UK, it's 325, which the CQB sites, um, indoor sites, outdoor sites, woodland, whatever, it's bang on. Um, again, it's just a standard AEG spring, so you can raise it up if you wish, which is accessible through the hatch in the back there. Um, so you can just take uh, to that spring and put a slightly beefier one in if you want to raise it up closer to the 350. Um, on the sites I've been looking at, most of them do suggest a 0.25 gram BB Um to be used in this. Um, I do believe that's what Bonds has been using. Yes, it's one of Bonds' guns again. Um, he's been using 0.25s in it. Runs happily all day long. Scares the living bejesus out of people when you come round a corner with, well, when they see your gun four hours before they see you come round the corner. <laughs> but uh, it has the desired effect. Um, like I say, it's, Quite funky, actually. It does actually work really well as a support gun. Um, I've run with him before. He didn't actually have the giant mag. He was only running that. His, his tactical maracas. Um, but yeah, he only had that. But it does work really well as a support gun because it's got a pretty peppy um, rate of fire. I think it fires at about nine, 17 or 18, maybe 19 rounds per second um, at even 325 FPS. 19 rounds per second is still a shh, quite a lot of, uh, of ammo coming at you. But uh, yeah, um, not a great deal more, like I say, about it, like I say, because it is 
it's, just, it's basically a long barrel G36C um, with a bipod and a scope and a whacking great mag. But like I say, if you want to find anything else out about these, um, buy them, shipping costs, all that sort of stuff, like I say, um, search Jing, J I N G Gong, G O N G. Um, and it's the G608, that's Golf 608. Um, and you'll find all the different places that stock it, sell it, ship it, the whole kit and caboodle. And you can get um, more in-depth uh, tech specs about it. I've not actually had this one in pieces, so I can't give you a huge amount of tech specs. And you won't let me take it to pieces either. Um, but either way, that's it um, for now. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.